meant to be made and that's uh that's what we need you know human beings we need goals we need to have a purpose and i'll tell you these players don't uh like that this is about as clear as your purpose gets shogun when you're in the final day of a regional event for rlcs season x yeah it's both teams that really want to prove that they are the next big thing in the region in case so honestly thought that they could be one hit wonders after last split where they did make it all the way through to the final day in the very first regional of the season. Then we didn't see anything of them for the rest of it. Now they're back, back to back championship Sundays. Now they're the team that are going to be coming into this as the expected. I think it's the redemption squad that have had to fight and claw to get to this point. And they might have to fly and claw just to get out of this defensive situation. Rinder once again, best of seven for our, all of our matches on today. Lots of time to make those adaptations. And we have seen, this is probably the season where that best of seven has meant the most, Johnny. Those teams that have been able to change on the way through and uh, some teams that just haven't been able to. Yeah, that, and for a series like this, where I think it's going to be quite swingy and I think we very well could be seeing a long one, they have to go into it with the mentality of figuring out your opponents, which is harder for the newer teams. You know, usually you're just going to go in with a game plan and play that game plan. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you can't do that on a best of seven. You need to be adaptable. Oh, that's almost in on the far post side. Now it's shot for Jemetta. Will follow through. And there is nobody ready to challenge the pass as, as Team Case will take the opening goal. That'll be really disappointing for Redemption as well because they know somebody should be making contact on the way through. They have ended up handing away the first goal of the series. And you have a series that could be as swingy as this one. Just putting 10 minutes of really solid Rocket League together can swing it in your direction. It's going to be Dementor. He looks to try and find a second. Two players committed. Atomic wants to try and set one more time. That's a very difficult position for anybody that's not named Cash. Now Mike Boy, he's going to have a one-on-one, -on -one, decides to go for the low challenge. I don't know if that was through choice or if he just failed to catch it with his first touch. This is the first real offense that Redemption have had in this game. A drop down pass to Mike Boy. I like the idea. It was well covered, but the execution was always going to be very difficult. you got to look out for the counter here, but actually Cash will be first to the ball. This is really good play from Redemption. Extremely fast play and actually a Bit of a mistake there by Atomic turning to defend the back wall instead of facing the play um, and watching out for the much more dangerous direct pass off the near post. But, you know, backboard is a, is a very common place for Cash to go when he's looking for shots. So um, I, I don't disagree with the threat being identified. However, Redemption back in the game, consistent pressure. I think we'll both be very happy to see Dominus Cash has returned to yeah. our screen today. You could, uh, neither of us really fans of uh, Octane Cash. Still upset, you know, as much as I like Redemption, they've done a great job getting here. They did knock out our favorite team of this entire tournament so far, the Curling Kids. <laughs> true, true. With uh, that amazing, very holiday themed car. So you, I suppose you have to go and win the whole thing to make it up to us. Yeah, that would make Curling Kids the second best team in the, in the region. So I, I would still be happy if Redemption could make the, the run here. Extremely close early on, as we expected. Uh, fairly even pressure. And no team having a clear mechanical or speed advantage. But the similar strategies are also on show. Hard hits coming through. Just pretty typical gameplay for high-level Rocket League these days. And um, to be honest, the team that uh, I think are favored in that matchup, the, you know, the boomer mode matchup, essentially, is it has to be Queso. That's what uh, Spanish Rocket League is all about. Spanish Rocket League that has been making a real rise through the ranks. Only had their first ever pro player as a starter back in Season 9. Now in Season 10, they're all over the place. Many regionals, getting lots of good results, and uh, it's a nation that will be very happy to how 2020 has treated them. A minute and 20 now on the clock. Cash, blast the ball downfield. Atomic, gonna try and follow. He's not gonna be quick enough to beat Ocelot to it. And that, you can see Atomic trying to pressure Mike Boy, who gets away from it. And if this sort of play style does start continuing, Cash has to be that player you start looking towards, because he's the one that's gonna be most likely to break rotation. Oh! Double tap from Salem, just off target. That first ball, taking it away from the car. You can already see that uh, danger every single time. 
There's a high ball in the orange half. There will be a Team K-Steel player attacking it. The defense has been effective, however. Especially Mike Boy, you pointed it out. He's getting bumped in the goal line, escaped that, and still managed to recover for the save. Once again, up quickly to defend what would have been a dangerous position. But still, Team K-Steel are coming forward. Team K-Steel in with an awkward touch on target. Every one of these um, hits are being read, though. Redemption have got a good um, ability to predict what is coming at them up until now. Oh, that's a great ball, though. Cash to take oh, it. Oh, wow. Thielen, he jumped and hoped, and he got the best possible result for himself. Mike Boy wants to keep this going. He's got Cash over to his right hand side. No way of following that ball up, however. And, uh, well, if your predictions for the 24 hour stream were going to come true, then we need plenty of overtimes here, Johnny. <laughs> might be getting our first one of the day as it drops down there to the floor. 100% overtimes of the day so far as uh, K Still and Redemption go even as everybody was expecting. And then it might be a case of the first chance to miss coming in from Cash, but nobody expected that one. And for a good reason, Cash hasn't been missing a lot this weekend. That was a, a surprising position to whiff in as well. Multiple players taken out, Cash taking his time. Now it's the rest of the team to reset the rotation. This goes towards the backboard. There will be no follow-up, especially if Dements are able to half volley it on the wall. Now VK Salen. His shot shouldn't test Ocelon, but a double commit does allow Atomic to go for the double tap off the backboard. Dementor just starts out pacing. What will the boost situation now look like for Redemption? They've got to get rid of it pretty quick. And that will give them a little bit of breathing room for how long. A miss does pull the ball in a little bit more. So Wait, what? Salen wanted to keep going. That was uh, very much wow. peering into the future to try and get that play going as Atomic will see his attempt cleared. Yeah, VK Salen wanted a very gradual touch as he came off the ceiling, missed it, but he held on to that dodge and managed to make a use out of it. No, you know, easy shot from that position. That's a great pass. It's off the post for Atomic and the rebound goes wide. Oh, the bounce wasn't friendly to him and now Cash has got a chance for the counter attack. This is where he's so dangerous. Reads the bounce to perfection. Cash on the counter takes it for redemption. I mean, that ball was on the blue side of the field for about 10% of this game. And that is the sort of play that you have got to make sure you take when you get them. And wow. Cash will do exactly that. Oh my goodness. Wow. I still have got to be wondering where this game went. Yeah, they were, well, I mean, they nearly won it twice. <laughs> it was <laughs> a couple of open nets technically for Atomic. First from halfway line, it was a brilliant passing play. Something we didn't see, you know, a lot of in this uh, game was passing. But that last chance for Team Gesto came off a wicked pass. Um, there was no chance for Redemption to react to it. Unfortunately for them, Atomic hit the post. And to make matters worse, he hit the inside of the post. So it bounced in a position that he couldn't even rebound. Um, it looked like it was just getting away from him too quickly. Yeah, it's one of those plays that just looks really poor, but there's nothing you can do about it. That bounce just isn't nice to him. And speaking of things that you can't do anything about, well, <laughs> defend a shot like that one from Cash. Uh, good start. Wow. A very good way to finish off game number one today. Uh, but this series looks very open. I think Queso looked like the more threatening team uh, in terms of the amount of chances they were getting. Uh, yeah. but they can't afford to drop enough one here. Otherwise, that gets very scary. Yeah, they also, you know, they had the, the couple of uh, difficult open net shots in OT. We had the free um, uncontested double touch for VK Salen. Those were real chances that could have just stolen this game quite easily. So I would agree they had the, the greater opportunities in the run up to it, but you can't take anything away from Redemption there. Cash is showing up again and again. We've been waiting all season for this to happen. He's been uh, mentioned several times as one of the players to watch in, in Europe at the moment. Uh, maybe the next big thing when it comes to mechanical ability and um, just carrying a series. And now he's starting to really show up consistently all through this weekend. He's been huge. What would be very huge is if they can put themselves up to two and O here in this best of seven. Cash, ceiling reset, wants to try and find a bit of space. Ocelon has got that space. And VK Salen, yet again, we've said his name quite a bit here when it comes to very solid reactive saves. Cash again, off the ceiling reset. He didn't have anyone to pass to. I think there was definitely the option there for Redemption to be a bit more aggressive with Ocelon's positioning. But that might not even be a trust issue. That is the, hey, we're on Championship Sunday. I'm a little petrified. Let's not Cash. make any mistakes. And Cash shouldn't make a mistake from here. Mensa gets there just on time. 
Yeah, very good save from Dementor. No hesitation, just closes down the shot, makes himself as big as he can, so that the shot is harder for Cash to pull off. Now here comes Dementor in offense. Flip reset landed, but he didn't land the flick afterwards. And Ocelon was able to get goal side of it. It is more of the same. Team k are piling pressure forward. And they look like the slightly faster of the two teams, the slightly more threatening of the two teams, but the Redemption counter-attacks are extremely dangerous. I don't really mind um, Redemption sitting back and letting Team Queso come at them, especially with uh, the overtime goal that they just took for game one. Uh, that is all you need to know to see that these guys can be effective with the counter-punch. It might almost be the best thing possible for Redemption if that half chance does come in for Team Queso because we know they'll be happy to put all three forwards. That's a good challenge win. It's going to be Ocelon and Atomic. Yeah, uh, Dementor and Atomic that finally got back. But it does look like Redemption is just looking for that one opportunity to strike, not holding on to too much offense, not taking three or four chances. It's that one clear quality chance that they are after. VK Salem will put that one Good low. Shot. A very nice shot, dips it right under the keeper. Yeah, the pre-jump came in, VK Salem. Um, actually didn't see it before committing to his low shot, but the placement is very deceptive on that. He uh, made it look like he was going to shoot high and then dodged to change the direction of his car completely, hit the ball in a different way, and it's gone completely underneath the defender. Not even a close one, it was just a, a complete outplay in the position of Dementia. We'll tackle his teammate and makes it 2-0. What a call from Dementia to just take over the play. Oh, Atomic had it. Then he didn't, because <laughs> Dementia. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen someone <laughs> bully his way in to a play like that before. If you're going to do that, you better make sure you go and score. Dementor, a, he did it. It's a ranked play. It's actually just a ranked <laughs> play, but it works in competition. Especially with how unpredictable it is. All eyes on Atomic in that play. Then all of a sudden, Dementor comes in and takes the ball away from him. No one on Redemption is ready for that one. For Redemption, the story becomes very different when you're behind. And you haven't been creating all that many opportunities for yourself and getting the majority of them off counters. Team right now that doesn't need to score on you as Atomic couldn't quite read the ceiling drop down bounce. Very difficult as always to do so. And I can't read. Every time I look towards Queso and like, all right, someone's in the back corner. They're ready for this. No, they're right behind their currently challenging teammate. Yeah. It's, it looks wrong. It looks fundamentally incorrect, but it's not punishing them at all. Yeah, it works out quite well for them. It's a consistent pressure style, um, which does leave them a little bit open to counter attacks, but they do it very well. And the recoveries are very, very quick as well. You know, that's the, the key. You need to play um, extremely boost efficient and you need to recover so quickly for this style to go unpunished. Atomic is going to get a reset. Oh, no oh my goodness. 3-0. What a read by Atomic. How did he even notice that he had a reset in that position? <laughs> it's just incredible. I don't get how he can be that efficient and that accurate with almost no time to react. These players have got yeah. to figure this play out instantly and then spend the rest of their time executing what's in their mind. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Redemption <laughs> have handed a lot of time on the ball over to Team Queso. And Team Queso have used that time to unlock the full ability of Dementor, yeah. who is looking red hot. Oh, what a save as well. Dementor has cleared this by pinching it off his own post. The initial shot was actually um, an effective one as well. So good save even before the clear. Yeah, Queso are dominating now. And it's uh, time for Redemption to step up. If they are going to come back in this game, they need to start soon. And th there's no way that Queso are going to uh, slow down. They're not going to stop attacking. This is what they do. This is uh, what they, these players have become well known for throughout RLCS Season X. And you've got to give a lot of credit as well to VK Sale. And he's slotted into this team so well. Um, Dementia and Atomic were running riot with Garizi in Regional 1, um, especially in the in the f uh, first split. Sorry, split 1, Regional 1. And now they're, I think, uh, on another level entirely. This is even more consistent. It's even more terrifying for everybody else as well. Mike Boy going to try and find something for his team. This game is far away from them at this point. It's all about finding something to lift your spirits heading into game three. Atomic, one more challenge. And uh, a lot of our predictions today had a lot of game sevens. If we keep seeing this from Demetra, <laughs> I get a little bit cautious about that.
There's going to be a lot of That's hope true. here for yeah. uh, Redemption to say, all right, hopefully Dementor is about to cool off in the next 30 seconds or so. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Yeah, and it wasn't just a really impressive offensive display. Team Queso had, had answers to every Redemption attack. Uh, there were no chances that did, had, just, had just gone astray in this game, like in the last game. This was just a case of Team Queso being ready for everything and uh, being positioned very, very well, which is very, it's hard to do when you play at such a breakneck speed to just always be backing each other up and always be in the right uh, spots to follow up on each other's plays. I mean, uh, sometimes they just brute force it though. Dementia tackling Atomic for the second goal, that's just hilarious. But you know, another thing to note is that we've seen two games so far and we already have two goals that could easily be in a top three for mm. uh, you know the, the following pre-show. There won't be one. Um, so we're swinging back to NA after this uh, uh, weekend. But yeah, that is the level of display, the level of individual talent that we currently have um, on the field. I think seeing that we are only two games in and we have already had goals of that quality, Gibbs will be breathing a sigh of relief that he hasn't got to try and score yeah, through what choose. this Championship <laughs> Sunday could maybe give us. Yeah, we could easily get more as well. Um, oh, this... Oh, oh what a bomb to Mensa! Well, oh he gets no credit for messing up originally. He gets full credit for fixing his own mess. Yeah, that was incredible. And, and again, the only play that would have made sense in that position is to bump the player who's uh, running onto the uh, uncontested shot. Mensa recovered brilliantly there. Um, right after a misplay, right after getting on the wrong side of the ball. Now, Ocelon will block his shot to the near post. Okay, so are relentless. They will just keep on attacking. They're going to keep on stealing these corner boosts. They were queuing up there to take away the corner boost that wasn't even there. But Redemption have got some uh, big plays as well. It's not just the cash show. These guys are all extremely talented. At what point do they become redeemed, show? Because uh, I think I they've think definitely had a lot of redemption already. I think they are redeemed. At this I think they're point. redeemed. When, yeah. when you're out in the first, in the upper bracket, in the very first round, you make it to Championship Sunday, you've redeemed yourself. Um, they maybe never redeem themselves for putting out the curling kids. Uh, that's maybe <laughs> forgiveness that will never find them. It's going to bounce down actually for Cash. You were talking earlier on, Johnny, about how Cash is seemingly that next big thing, and he might give us that next big goal if he's trying off the backboard. But we're going to talk about one of his teammates very quickly, Ocelot. He has felt like for the last few years like he was supposed to be the next big thing, and he never quite made it to that sort of height. How good has it got to feel for him? Be playing on this all day, and what sort of big performance he's going to need? Actually, he's going to require his teammate to keep this one out because Dementa is just too quick and too rabid on the field. Yeah, great pass from Atomic this time. Dementa doesn't have to tackle him; he just gives him the ball, and it shows us how effective a hook shot can be. This, uh, you know, slicing approach as he winds into that shot just gives so much power and a little bit of height to the ball. Unsavable there. Redemption are down again. You know, just to talk briefly to, uh, you know, your Ocelon um, question. Yes, he has been around for a long time. And he's uh, always had a lot of eyes on him because of his individual success. But he's just not found a team that, um, you know, works well enough for him to, you know, give those the results on a day like this, the final day of a tournament, getting, you know, wins against big teams. Oh, wait a minute. Did this just go in between two players off the bar? It looked like two defenders might have this, but it's gone just over the top of one. And then because it hits the bar, it gets dunked in by the second one. A bit unlucky there for uh, Redemption, but the shooting quality for Queso, my goodness, is impressive. I'm talking about finding that 10 minutes of solid gameplay that can really set the rhythm for this series. Queso, I've certainly found it here. Could have been a very, very different story had Game 2 not gone their way, but not only did they win Game 2, they stomped on it and they looked to do it yet again here in Game 3. Really put a team of players that haven't found much success on a Championship Sunday or even seen that many Championship Sundays. And yeah. you got to start asking the question, well, what do you do when you're behind? Yeah, it's, uh, it's becoming a problem now. Queso are hitting their shots extremely well, so... If you're going to stand off and just let them shoot, you're probably going to run into problems. And that is what's happening to Redemption at the moment. They're backing off very far and they just keep running into shots that are too difficult to save. Now, if, if they are going to get back into this, they need to challenge earlier. They need to get in the face of Queso, which I think could cause Queso some problems. But Redemption, um, first of all, they're going to need to step it up the, 
in the midfield. They have to go faster, they have to be more aggressive. So Queso are a very accurate team. Queso okay, very capable of thinking on the fly and responding. Here is Ocelon flip reset. That's going to have nothing on it, though. Follow up shot. Mike Boy puts it up high. Cash is going to have to half rotate if he wants to take his shot. And there was a couple of cards required for it, but it will stay out of the blue goal. Two goals down. It is still possible for redemption, but we need a better opportunity than that one. And maybe some actual contact on the ball. Oh, Mike Boy, this time around. Get will get a hold of it. Needed to stay away from that 3-0 scoreline. Cash. Tries to bait Atomic in. Atomic's 22 boost has dropped into Ocelon. Goes to net one more time. And I feel like that, rede uh, that redemption rotation needs to spread out on offense. All three were down that right-hand side. There was nobody yeah, to pass yeah. to. Yeah, they're getting a little bit claustrophobic. Ooh, but they finally get a goal by Scramble to go their favor. Cash will open the scoring once again for redemption. This was uh, just the chaos that they needed. They're at least throwing everybody forward. This is what we're talking about. If you're going to... Um, confused, and if you're going to disrupt this extremely consistent and calm looking team, um, Queso, then you need to get in their faces. You need to be aggressive with all three members. That's what Redemption have done for one of the first times in this series. That was when the coach says, throw everything at them. And Mike Boyd decided, yeah, sure, I will. Literally just threw his car onto the opposing backboard to remove the player. When you are two goals down and you are desperate in need of trying to get one back, but a go for plays like that. Atomic now towards the backboard. Ocelon can't jump up to meet it. But no one actually from Team Queso wanted to either. Mike Boy, ceiling. Going to be difficult to follow up. Here comes Ocelon. Two players jumped up. It's up to VK Salen now to buy the team a bit of time. No real power on his clear because the ball was a bit too slow on the way down. And Ocelon, he was too far in the middle. Couldn't get the run up onto the shot. Can't find any bumps or demos after the fact, and it means that they've got to go the entire length of the pitch. Ocelon back over to Cash. Cash for the back, but he ends up leaving it. it. In comes someone else, but it was a blue car rather wow. than an orange one. Team Queso made to sweat for it in the end, but they've got game two. I love that play at the end of the game. It didn't end up uh, resulting in a goal for Redemption, but the fake from Cash is a really cheeky play. And it, it, you know, it could have worked out um, on another day. Team Queso had multiple players ready. They had multiple players with boost, more importantly, um, who are ready to challenge that regardless of what happened. Um, but making a sneaky play like that is a really good way to try and pull off the equalizer from a difficult position on zero seconds. I'm sure if the pass was lower, Cash would have just taken a shot at it, but he knew any kind of backboard touch from that position is going to just bounce clear. So there's no point doing that. Um, you're not going to get a zero second goal from that position. Might as well let it bounce flat um, and go towards a teammate. But Case will get the win. And it was off the back of some very nice early shots in this game. Yeah, as much as Redemption will be disappointed that they couldn't find the zero second play to get back into this, it bears noting how important mm. it was for them to take the majority of the opportunities in that final minute and a half. And it looks like that was their game out of nowhere because up to that point, Queso had a solid eight minutes where they were in full control of this series. And you can't let that start slipping out of control because yes, this is a best of seven. Yes, you get that one extra game to lose, but you can't lose it that convincingly for that long and expect to make a comeback. So at least something for redemption oh to hold on to. That might not what? be for too much longer. The pure what? chaos of Team Queso. What? So difficult <laughs> to hold on to. It will somehow not go in. All right, well, if uh, it was sleepy time for anyone, everyone's wide awake yet again. What a start. I don't know what to say. They're, they're consistently tackling each other. Once again there, we saw a team bump on a dribbling player. A team bump. This is like ranked gameplay, but it's so surprising to see. Nobody on Redemption is expecting that, so it works. It, the ball goes straight through. And then somehow, after a stroke of good fortune, Team K still failed to score what looked like a really easy rebound or a really easy conversion. I don't even know how they managed to hit the bar on that, but they might have been just as shocked by the play working out as Redemption were. It's it's so wrong, it works. I think that's the only way I can describe it. Nobody Very nice way to say so bad it works. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> the room of Rocket League rotation. We shall look at it as there's Atomic. Won't be able to quite take it away. Dementor over to the wall. Ocelon. Trying to find that second touch. So desperate at the moment, our redemption just to put together a couple of touches as Atomic will miss his. But how are you supposed to surprise a team that oh. has just doing stuff like this for fun of it? And Cash left that so late. 
did look routine, but he wanted to make sure that it wasn't just going to get blasted straight back into a Team Queso attacking player. And it seems like we've reset back to how game one looked uh, for a little while. As uh, All right, that, there's your response, Redemption. You double commit as well and uh, let them know about <laughs> it. How do you counter the uh, team bumps of Team Queso? Well, you do some of your own. I, I really would be surprised if that's uh, the route that Redemption take to try and come back in this series. But to be honest, I don't think they really need to make any changes. I think they've got the change of momentum that they needed. They're still in a very even matchup, and this is a very back and forth game. But uh, they're not being boxed in. They're not being boost starved. They're not being denied any uh, possession play beyond the halfway line. This is, uh, you know, like I said, a much more back and forth game. That's all that Redemption want. That's all that they're looking for. They don't need to dominate. They're quite happy to uh, play that counter style, like we already mentioned. Well, they have really shoved Team Queso back a little bit from game one and two. Oh, that's a miss though again. VK Salen can't quite clear the lines. It's gonna be difficult for Cash to find some space, but he has got it over to Ocelon. That backboard yet again, covered by VK Salen. Atomic Shot will be handily gathered up and he will just think about going forward yet again. Realizes the ball is too far away from him. I've seen those dropping balls from the wall become a little bit difficult Ooh, to deal with. That what? one has had two cars fling right past it. Somehow it's not in. Atomic will give another shot at it, another double commit, because uh, why not? Yeah, one of the uh, interesting things as well is that that green car that just flew past your screen was Atomic, and he ended up right back in the play at the halfway line, just about half a second later. Immediate recoveries, even from missed shots, and where your car lands in the opposition net. And that's what Team Case are all about. Oh, here come Redemption. Ash didn't take anything off that shot, but still saved the defense. Team Queso, though, so often unnoticed because their offense just takes all the credit. They've got some very good uh, reactive saves, Shogun. This has become just all out pace from both teams. Neither team wants to give the other team any time on the ball whatsoever. And because of that, it almost feels like the midfield is just completely neglected. Now, no team wants to give each other, each other a bit of space. Drop down one more time. No follow up from Redemption. Again, just put someone on that far side. Let someone run onto the shot rather than having the ball chased away from them. But still, somehow, a game that has created so many opportunities and had so much offense. Oh, we might actually get our first goal, oh. and we will! Atomic well. with the first unchallenged shot, and he will get the lead for Team Queso. Yeah, Cash should know there that someone is going to attack the ball as quickly as possible. He's a bit too uh, slow to react to that near post pass. Obviously, Cash only had 12 boosts in that position, so it's a difficult one to get up for. But still, just had to go uh, a little bit quicker than he did. And now a chance for the counter, and Cash will miss it. Mike Boy's rebound also saved. So many opportunities in this game for Redemption compared to that game two that they were crushed in. And they might be overextending Shogun. Nobody's home. 2 0 with 11 seconds left. And they put all of it on trying to get the goal back immediately from the kickoff. You see Oslon diving on through. Means that nobody is back. That will secure game number four for Team Queso. Their third of the series. And Redemption. I like what I've seen from them in this game. It just felt like which team would make the first mistake and give up that first goal was going to be very much up against it. And uh, unfortunately for them, they were that team. As Team Queso now... Three match points. Yeah, this, it looked like almost um, the way that BDS usually win games. They go very even with a lot of teams sometimes um, when their opponents step up to their level. And then all it takes is one moment where the goalkeeper on the other team gets boost starved and BDS scores straight away. That's exactly what Team Queso did here. Cash had 12 boosts. He was the last man back. He needed to be very fast uh, and rebound that ball into the corner defensively. And he didn't get it. Atomic beat him to it. And if there's anything to take away from this, is that you have to expect that from Team Queso. They're not going to hold back and wait and see if the defender makes a play on that ball. They're just going to go. Atomic just went for the ball there. He was further away than Cash, but he knew that he had the momentum, he had the boost, and he could at least um, get there pretty quickly. So if there's any hesitation from Cash in that play, it's a goal for Team Queso. That's exactly what happened. Now, we've never had home fields uh, for any team in Rocket League, but I feel like the next one we're about to go to might be the perfect one to represent Team Queso in the way they play. We're on to Wasteland. 
Uh, it is a field of demolitions and destruction and pure chaos. And they oh, always seem to be fine. playing exactly like that, but Redemption are starting off on the front foot here. We need to try and find a good start here, Johnny, in game number five. If they don't, well, we've seen what the long trades look like. They tend to work out for Team Case, though. And, uh, you know, you can also see the uh, difficulty that um, Redemption have every time the boost runs out. What a pass that, that was from Atomic. He really kicked it up quickly. Meant the shot was saved. Let's take a look back at game three. Um, and you'll see a whole pile of Redemption pressure at the end of the game when they were already down. They were try trying to come back. And in case they were able to get multiple low boost saves, they were very good. They thrived in that chaos. Um, whereas other teams might just get confused in it. They, you know, the um, attempt not to double commit for any ball actually just results in massive hesitation for the entire team. You, you can't hesitate against Team Queso. They will send someone up for every single def uh, attacking rebound. It's just not even a question. That someone will be going for it. So that's what Team Queso will have to... That's what Redemption will get for. That is a brilliant pass, though. Mike Boy, he's not had too much to say in offense today, placed it perfectly in the top corner. This is the one style of play that we have not seen that much of from Redemption. The infield Beauty. pass and a rocket from Mike Boy to put them up by one. It's the start for Redemption that they needed on the long, arduous trek to bring this series back and maybe send us over to Champions Field. That backboard will go a long way towards helping them. Wise Boy, I mean, Mike Boy wanted to try and find the double tap. <laughs> boy. Give my own mod a shout out at this point. <laughs> what happens when you got so many <laughs> similar names? <laughs> that, yeah, I was wondering where that one came from. I mean, Mike Boy definitely has a, a lot of wisdom, so it's not a bad uh, name for him at all. Um, he's, he has to um, balance the craziness that Cash obviously brings to the team. Ooh. And Dave Demenza again finds his teammate in a safe location. And here comes the counter for Atomic. He will try and bump the goalie, but it's Cash who sneaks past him. Another chance again for Cash in the solo play. Reset security, gets it past one, gets it past everybody. Cash doubles up for redemption. And that is so, so crucial because they've got themselves a bit of breathing room now. Their first two goal leads. And they've now got to hold on to this for another three minutes. Can you do it though? This is definitely, as we've gone through this series, they look like they've been more up to pace with Team Queso. PK Salen wants the challenge. Comes in a bit late from Mike Boy, getting that name right for a change. So There's one thing worth though. mentioning, Shogun, and that is that uh, Redemption are really crushing the kickoffs. They've um, gone for the same play twice in a row now, the back corner kickoff, and both times Team Queso have fallen for it. They're just barreling straight through the ball. Redemption have allowed it to go into their back corner intentionally and sent a player there preemptively to grab boost and take the possession for free. Um, it was Cash after the first goal, it was Ocelon after the second. So that's something that Team Queso need to look out for. They don't want to fall into that trap every single time and concede possession off every uh, reset. To the wall, PK Salen, he has actually got the infield pass. Dementia though doesn't want it, he wanted the car. And he almost found it. Ocelon does very well to dip through the attempted challenge. This brings this game back to life, at least momentarily. Something that I'm not too sure Redemption would like for the time oh being. As everyone is jumping, everyone is bumping. And uh, it is still somehow not in. Team Queso look like they're starting to really liven up here. Yeah, talking of ranked plays, sending um, an air dribble bump and also a run ahead demo. Just both, why not? Just send two players at the goalkeeper. Um, that's a very frustrating play to go up against, but Redemption have responded to it well. They had multiple defenders. It's hard to bump all of them. In case they might have to try something different. To be honest, they haven't looked as alive in this game. It's been a faster one for Redemption. And, you know, winning all those kickoffs with the really, really smart back corner strategy gives them just such a good start in every play. Atomic off the post. Oh my goodness, he lands on it. <laughs> Sends it into the crossbar. That one was definitely a goal if it was on target. Ocelon had no idea that was coming. Mike Boy was sat in the goal line. He had no idea where that ball was going to go either. Now catch for the double tap. He puts it straight over to Mike Boy. Instead, the shot will have no real venom on it. But I love what I'm seeing here from Redemption. They're doing a fantastic job of starting to vary this offense. It's not just pure chaos looking for the one open shot. 
They're starting to integrate a couple of individual plays into the um, midfield pass. And it has managed to find the player each time. It's now up to the executioners whether or not they're going to start getting goals consistently from it. 30 seconds here. Redemption still have a lot of work to do should they take this game, as it looks like they currently will. One more throw here. Dementor wants to see a mistake. They actually might have got it. Atomic puts that shot across the middle. Double commit, double the chance to save. And it also means that they are going to double up in games one. Three to two here on the board. What a couple of game sevens here today, Johnny. We all predicted some. Well, we're one more redemption win, win away from Champions Field. Yeah, very well could happen. This is a great game for redemption. They can manage to control uh, Team Queso right from the kickoffs until uh, the end of the game. Um, it was just dominating for them. Probably the most dominating game that we've seen. Um, and it wasn't even all that dominating. I say most dominating compared to the other ones. Uh, but, you know, it was still a pretty close game. Very competitive. However, um, it was the passing that separated Redemption and Queso in this one. And I, I want to see more of that. Redemption and Team Queso, they've got so much solo play potential. Uh, the entire Queso squad seems to be able to pull out ridiculous shots whenever they want. And Cash obviously is just um, a consistent highlight reel. But the passing plays are just as important. And that, that was what netted the first goal for Redemption also onto Mike Boyd to the back of the net. If they can keep on focusing on that, uh, then they might have an edge in the matchup because Queso, although they've had a, a, a few good passes, mostly in defense, they don't really focus too much on that. They're all about the solo plays. It has been, uh, especially for Redemption, up to the games before this one. It just seemed like their offense was lining up. How very British of them to line up and wait. All right, now I get my turn uh, to try and outplay this entire team. But it's starting to spread out a little bit more. They realize, hey, we've got the right-hand side of the field. If the ball is over on the left, I can become a passing option from there. And hopefully it will lead us towards that game seven because this has been a very entertaining series so far. Two teams that we are expecting great things from. Uh, as we head into the future and a very bright future for Rocket League Esports with so many teams and so many players who have started yeah. to really show their worth. And it is now, the way we look at this, Ocelon Cash, Mike Boy, players that, you know, some of them we expected to see here a little bit earlier than maybe they got to, but they are really taking their opportunity. And over on the side of um, Team Queso, it's just... And how can you take this season any better? They have done a fantastic job of not only getting to these positions, but also making the yeah. most of them. We'll be able to get ourselves into the next game uh, in a little bit. We're just trying to find a player. Uh, I think we lost them back in Wasteland. Uh, it's, a, it's a long trek between Wasteland and Neo Tokyo, so anything can happen uh, on the transport. Um, but once we get that going, we'll get ourselves into the next game. Uh, but for the time being, Johnny, what we're seeing from both these teams, are they a threat to the teams on the opposite side of this bracket? Because the winner will be going on to that loser's uh, semi-final. Um, I have to say Giants are the scariest team in the lower bracket for me all, all around. And then I would probably say Galaxy Racer are the second scariest team. So the other side of the bracket for me has to be uh, the one where the, the, the likely winner comes from. But they're going to be close. I, I had lots of very close series here. I think this was going to be close to whatever happens in the next round will probably be close as well. Um, and that's because all these teams are competitive and they can all pop off. Okay, well, we're going to go and try and see if we can find that player. Sure, there must have been a connecting flight that didn't quite work out. So we're going to head to a quick break. When we find them, we'll get ourselves back into game six. Welcome back to RLCS Season X, regional number two of the winter split. And Johnny, we have managed to do it. We have found one of the players. Yeah, Dementia just accidentally took the train to Urban instead of the monorail to Neo Tokyo. And that's quite a fair distance. Um, so mm. he had to go all the way back. Uh, but now they're ready. So a little bit of a break there, hopefully for Redemption. That's not uh, broken their momentum that they had going for them. Uh, if I know them, you know, they're all very stubborn players. So I think they're going to be just fine getting into this one. That's a great mind game by Ocelon. He's passed one and runs right into VK Stalin at the top of the vines. This has been one of those series where we can very easily describe it as fast. If you are wondering what you've missed so far, some of the quickest Rocket League for two teams looking to make it through to that lower semi-finals. Waiting in the other, in the other side is Giants, uh, who would be expected to pretty much get there, really. They have been a phenomenal side throughout the entirety of this RLCS split. And on the other side, Galaxy Racer, one of the other top remaining teams. Dementor though, looking to try and find the setup. Mike Boy 
Not going to get fooled by that anymore. The ball going to go high. He's going to get himself contact. And now they look to try and break away. Ostalon, no passing option for him. He tries to go for the backboard. But a bit of a mistake. Didn't quite find it. But this has been such a close series so far. Winner of this one not only adds an extra, I believe, two grand to their prize pool, but they also get an extra 40 points. Uh, you might be wondering, well, 40 points, what's that worth? Well, that's the current amount of points that Redemption has. So to add that on top of everything else would be very nice for them, as that's yeah. going to be a slow pass. Mike Boy able to read it. Yeah, Redemption need a lot more points. Case are only a, you know, a little bit away. Oh, hold that thought. What? A <laughs> Wait a minute, mate. <laughs> by VK Stalin. That's unbelievable. He was on the back wall. He just pre-flipped underneath the ball to put it backwards into the open net. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. VK Salen has just shown up massively for his team. That's going to be a shot across the face of God. Atomic going to keep it out. That goal was almost instantly wiped out. Oh, what? Across. Oh, my goodness. It, this, well, this is just this? Team Queso. We've got used to it at this point. They do things, and it works. VK Salen has got a brace. That is absolutely bananas. Who goes for a team pinch in that position? You're, you know, you're under threat. There are circling opponents, and you're the last two men in the position. You think to yourself, yeah, it's fine. Let's just pinch clear with, uh, you know, no third man behind us. No problem for Team Queso. This just goes to show you how aggressive and how risky these guys love to play. Ocelon's got an open net here, but he fluffs the shot. It was, a, you know, a, definitely a shot that caught him a bit uh, flat tired there. He couldn't get much of a run up to it. Okay, still are not going to slow down for a heartbeat. This is tough for Redemption to come back from. Yeah, Redemption now can't afford any more mistakes. Ocelon towards the backboard. And Atomic just camping up there. He's ready and waiting for it. I feel like it just needs to be a little bit more direct here by Redemption. That backboard very well covered. Another attempt at the pinch here. Dementa going to try yeah, and follow. They just don't stop. <laughs> they keep it's trying to pinch everything. It's hilarious. I mean, it's working as well. Now Dementa with a ridiculous pop. The, look at the shots. The quality of shooting from Team Queso. Even if it looks like there's a fair part of the net open, they're still absolutely smashing it towards it. Um, that is exactly what I love to see. Just confident, striking, even if it does look like placement would do the job. Oh, oh a rebound! Cash! With authority, puts one in for redemption. They needed it so very much. Two minutes on the clock. And Cash, he's not missing that one. Hit that one also very hard. I didn't care if there was going to be a goal line defender. He was almost certain that the ball was going to go through that defender if they even tried to block it. Now he's going to try and move forward yet again. Takes the midfield boost. To get the challenge that he wants off the backboard. For once, there wasn't anyone available for Team Queso to immediately take over. Just outpaced, though, by Atomic. And in 40 here. Cash fakes out Dementa. Now VK Stellan's actually by himself. Over the top of him. Here comes Cash. Wow. He's got himself a brace. And now it's a score off between him and VK Stellan. Oh, a mind game by Cash. And VK Stellan hesitated on the challenge. That is really not like them um, to pull out of a challenge at that late of an angle. I gotta say, the mind games are showing up huge in this game. Ostalon completely faked out. Um, one of the Team Kessel players at the start of the game. Now Cash is totally my game. Another on the ground. There's that free shot. Man, it's on the wrong side of it. VK7, he's dropped it to Atomic. Arcelon will win the challenge, and he wins it well enough that the rest of the team can reset as well. Dementa goes for Atomic. Fast side, very far away. Dementa with a second touch off the backboard. Up goes VK Salen! What? Patrick Hero! <laughs> Just, you know, saving um, the teammate's shot so that you can pass to the third man. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from Dementa. He knew that that shot was being saved and probably cleared to the side. So what does he do? He saves it by hitting it into the crossbar. Far more dangerous play for the defense to deal with. They were not ready for that. And once again, Team K still have pulled the play straight out of ranks and made it work in RLCS. Well, they just do it, but they do have so much power and so much precision. You can't possibly resist that offensive attack. Ocelot. Back to the midfield. Again, Redemption need to find themselves a goal. That backboard hasn't been kind to them so far this game. So Mike Boy wanted to get something into the midfield. Can't quite do so. Now to Mensa. 
one good challenge away from putting this series out of reach of Redemption, who want to send us to game number seven over to Champions Field. Ocelot, time to put that one's name to good use right now. He's going to go around the wall. Very difficult to challenge in this position. And Atomic waited for the perfect opportunity to do so. Yeah, unlike Guild yesterday, they do not let the ball cross the center of the box. They don't let it go across their own goal line. They stop it short of that, keep it in the corner. That's exactly what you want to do in that position. Really well defended by Team Queso. Now Mike Boy wants to find the challenge. He doesn't get it. VK Stellan, who has been MVP of this game, might have just bought that last bit of time. Got to keep it up in the air now. Oslon starts to try and recover the ball. He's managed to do so. In comes Mike Boy, helps out. Cash pops the ball on a little bit further. Dementia. Wait, what? Can I have the cash? Cash what? the cash as well! And we are going to overtime! You are joking. Dementia has actually helped Cash score this. He pops it back into him. And the, the second touch from Cash puts it in on zero seconds. I don't believe it. I, I was sure this game was over, but we're in OT. Well, what you need to believe now is that we are one redemption goal from going to Champions Field. VK Salen and Cash, both three goals to their name. Both pulling out the hat trick. Can they get themselves a fourth? Or is somebody else going to step up and take this game six? Here's Atomic. He goes low. It's going to be very difficult. Wait, Double commit. Here comes Atomic. Oh, and they goodness. are through to the next round. Calamity for redemption. Jubilation for Team Queso. Oh, they move no. through. Oh, that is the worst possible way to go. What a roller coaster of emotions. Redemption tie the game with no time left, only to whiff a ball that was barely moving. And <laughs> watch the overtime goal go in for Team Queso. You have to feel bad for them. Um, but to be honest, they stole that equalizer from this game. It was all Team Queso. They were absolutely battering Redemption in game six. And somehow, I don't know how, Redemption got us into overtime. Um, and they, they got a little bit of help actually from Dementia to do so, but they couldn't get the job done. Team Queso are the better team on the day. They look great. Um, they look extremely chaotic, but for some reason, they don't seem to mind about all that. They they read each other's crazy plays better than the opponents ever can. I think chaos is maybe the best way to describe them because it really does look like they've got four players on the pitch at all times. They just play that quickly. Um, wow, what a series. We were forced to wait a little while for that game six, but my goodness, was it worth it? So now we know who is going through to that lower semifinals, but we don't know yet who their opponent is going to be. We're going to find out after a quick break as we see Galaxy Racer take on the Vodafone Giants.